Before Keaton, there was Adam West. Before Nicholson, there was Cesar Romero, Burgess Meredith, Lee Merriweather, and Frank Torshin. It's the original Cape Crusaders and their antagonistic adversaries in full-length action. Holy sardine! Hand me down the shark repellent. Tonight, the movie that started the mania, Batman. They're one of the most successful pop supergroups of all time. Take a look at their past and present, both on and off stage, in an intimate musical portrait. The Bee Gees, going home. Hey, we feel very fortunate to still be around. It's very, very difficult in this business to be around as a pop group as long as we've been around. Yesterday's classic hits to the sounds that define the decade. Few groups have had the staying power of the Bee Gees. Now has been probably the best times of our lives together. Catch them behind the scenes and on stage as they continue to create great music when the Disney Channel's Going Home series of concert specials continues in the Bee Gees Going Home tonight. month to the Disney Channel. His was a world of privilege. His was a world of pain. Don't let him or any other colors into this room again. But their love of music knew no boundaries. And together, they made perfect harmony. She had the gift of song. The Disney Channel is proud to present Judy Garland, The Concert Ears, a true television classic. in the campsite when Disney's Coyote Tales come to town. Oh, you can't keep a good dog down. Then it's no, a dog's sir. life. Oh, you can't keep a good dog down. Until... Charlie! They're gonna kill you! But you can't keep a good dog down. Itchy, I'm alive! The world television premiere of All Dogs Go to Heaven, only on the Disney Channel. Join us now as the Disney Channel salutes the American teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, the First Lady of the United States, Mrs. Barbara Bush. In Mercer Island, Washington, the kindergarten students that attend Loretta Cusack's class have to be ready for anything. She integrates social studies, art, music, science, reading, foreign languages, and math into a non-stop day. And for these young minds, turns education into excitement and discovery. kindergarten it's their it's their first as they call it real school experience and when they come in they have um, so much enthusiasm and I think we have the capability of keeping that enthusiasm or squelching it and it's very very important to keep them very excited because if they can learn in kindergarten that learning is exciting and rewarding that's one of the best things I can give them as a teacher because they'll go on and tackle whatever they need after that as long as they know that they can do it and they like doing it okay you ready to be a little chick be like our little chickens in the incubator snuggle down inside an egg that was white was a tiny little chick with its head tucked in tight then it lifted its head 
tapped the egg with its beak, and quickly popped out. Nice job. I believe that kindergarten children are capable of a tremendous amount of learning. They can do so many things that we might not think they're able to do. All the scientific things that went along with, like, our chicken embryology. They learn the terms. They know the terms. They can give them back to me. Raise your hand if you can tell me what an embryo is. What is an embryo? Naomi? It's a living thing that hasn't been born yet. Right, a living thing that hasn't been born yet. So we could actually see part of the embryo that day. She has that unique ability to create in a child that recognizable moment of learning where a light goes on, a sparkle in their eye, a moment of recognition and education that happens for the children. And she makes that happen more often than I've ever seen. Oh. Ooh, that's interesting. You know what that could be? That could be one plus two plus one equals four. Would that be great? I think it's very important that each child can succeed because success breeds success. And one of the ways, a good tool for helping assure that is through individualizing instruction where you can set your instructional level at different levels for those children so that every child in your room can succeed whether they are accelerated or, or not accelerated, they all can have the ability to, to succeed, which gives them even more success, a good feeling about themselves, and then they can just take off. <laughs> Loretta sets a tone that this is a safe place, and it's a place that allows them to be the best that they can be. And that's really important because once we get a kid in the door with a positive attitude, a lot of really wonderful things can happen. Okay, Alyssa, let's see what we have. Whoa. That's better. Good, that's better. Okay, remember Chin. The project that we just are completing now are life-size portraits of ourselves. And the theme behind it was part of a self-esteem unit of uh, the beauty of differences and the differences of beauty, meaning we're all special, and we're all different, but we're all beautiful. You know what time it is? Recess. <laughs> In this class this year, I have um, six special needs children that have been mainstreamed into the classroom. And what we've learned is that these are differences, too, and the acceptance of differences. And it's really been a very rewarding year because of the love and help I've seen going on among my students and in loving and helping these, these children. It's been very, very rewarding. And they give us back so much, too. She's so loving, she's so caring to her children. At the same time, she takes her job so seriously and she gives her 100% every single day to those kids. And it makes a difference in each one of their lives. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful thing. What keeps me going in teaching is the child that comes up and says, I love you, Mrs. Cusack, gives me my hug, gives me my kiss, um, says, God, that was fun, or walks in the morning with this huge smile and they can't wait for another day. And when they walk out the door, they're still hugging me and saying, see you tomorrow, and they can't wait to get back. Next, Adam West and Burt Ward star as the dynamic duo in the 1966 classic, Batman. After that, it's an up-close and personal look at a musical legend in the Bee Gees' Going Home. Then relive the sights and sounds of the 1960s on Ready, Steady, Go. Tonight, on the Disney Channel. My, my insurance company will never pay for this. This is no ordinary monkey, is it? He's a rocket primate. Just pretend you're going after some intergalactic bananas. An extraordinary chimp who returns to Earth a changed monkey. This is my monkey. That's no monkey. That's my dad. Watch Orville swing into action and turn NASA upside down. Don't miss A Hero in the Family, only on the Disney Channel.
a struggling network. We come up with loser after loser, disaster after disaster. Goes ape over a chimp who has an eye for hits. Sign him to a contract. We don't want anyone stealing them from us. But his captors are already climbing the walls. Oh, no! Not the tie, not the tie! For Kurt Russell, Joe Flynn, and Harry Morgan, there's no business like monkey business. It's the Barefoot Executive on the Magical World of Disney. Hi, I'm Peter Scolari, inviting you to join me for a very special premiere movie, Perfect Harmony, exclusively on the Disney Channel. Debuting Sunday, March 31st, a motion picture event, Perfect Harmony on the Magical World of Disney. This spring, an acclaimed Disney Channel favorite returns. Well, I'd forgotten what it's like around here. Really? It's a new season of Avonlea with more surprises. Good Lord in heaven! Colorful new characters. This here fiddle goes where I go, even to the outhouse. <laughs> and special guest appearances by Colleen Dewhurst, Peter Coyote, Michael York, and Madeline Kahn. A brand new season of Avonlea premieres Monday, April 8th, exclusively on the Disney Channel.